latest update on Cyclone 2A, which has formed off the western coast of India today, with winds of 45 miles per hour estimated and a pressure of 996 millibars. It's at 13.1 degrees north, 70.4 degrees east at 7.30 p.m. Indian time this June 10th. It's already a stage 5 on the CDPS scale that is based on its projected landfall on the western coast of India. If it did so, we would expect significant impacts from this storm. Here it is right now though, and you can see how it's looking, where it is in relation to India. Um, again, 13.1 north, 70.4 degrees east, devastating damage potential if it was to make landfall further towards the north. It's expected to strengthen before it does so. Uh, 272 miles from Panaji, 327 from Nat Ratnagiri, 442 from Mumbai, 578 from Surat, and 637 from Rajkot. Um, so this is another look here. Tropical storm conditions possible in any of these yellow areas in the next 48 hours. A little bit far-fetched they might reach the northern extent of that yellow area, um, but it is certainly still a possibility. Uh, it is likely to parallel the coast, so we're not expecting any direct or, should I say, the strongest impacts along the coast of India until it gets much further north. Here's what we're looking at on the GFS model run. You can see it going off towards the north-northwest, paralleling the coast, and then as you can see there, grazing the coast much further north and getting up towards the Pakistan border where it is probably or possibly going to make its landfall. It's what the GFS is wanting at the minute. It's expecting a landfall there at the end of the week and then pushing in land. It stalls off the coast before doing that first though. So that region could get huge amounts of rainfall as we get towards the end of the week. Currently expecting around 350 millimeters. Temperatures in the area around 30 degrees in the sea surface temperatures that would be, uh, which is extremely warm for continued and possibly aggressive cyclone development in the next few hours and days. Um, it's really getting itself consolidated, it's been battling off some other circulations that have been competing, it's now got the circulation going, the uh, primary one, and some significant intensification is likely. Those yellow areas there that you're looking on the screen, that is hurricane force winds as we get towards the end of this week, making a landfall. GFS model thinks it will be maybe category 2 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, but that is too speculative this far out to tell you really how strong it's actually going to be. If, in, if indeed it does make landfall, there are still some parts of the models, some model uh, ensemble runs that are saying it won't make landfall at all. Chance of tropical storm force winds is probably the most important stat for you right now. 10% in Mangaluru, 20% in Panaji, 30% in Mumbai, 50% in Porbandar, and 20% in Karachi. These are, uh, this is a little look at the models, I should say. Uh, GFS is one of the more aggressive on that list there. HWRF wanting a category one. That's hurricane force winds still though. Wind shear is what usually kills storms and it's quite high actually at the minute. It's going to drop later on though in about two days. Sea surface temperatures of course through the roof, 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity, it will be taking a, sh a slight decrease later on this week at the minute. It's very favorable. So here's a look at the satellite imagery and how the system has been looking in the last few hours. So you can really see there's a bit of a mess off over there towards the uh, western side of this system. That's for the previous circulations that have been battling. But you can see the primary one now on the right hand edge of all of that massive amount of convection of the Arabian Sea. Um, and you can see um, certainly that circulation has become dominant and the uh, satellite um, ASCAP has been also confirming that for us too. Uh, but huge amounts of convection in this system. Most of it is still away from India at this time, so that's a good thing, uh, but we could be seeing some heavy rain along that western coast. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>